How to Superstars, and welcome back to your Algebra 1 Semester 1 review. Um, this is problem 19 from this year, but it might have been a different number in previous years, so don't let that throw you off. As long as the problem matches, you should be fine. Um, this one's actually a really quick one, too, so you're in for a treat. Here we go. They gave us a point, negative 12, comma, n. And we need to remember that all of our points in Algebra 1 are always an input and then an output. Now, normally we give these pretty consistent names. We normally call the input an x value and an output a y value. But it doesn't have to be. We could pick any number. And in this case, we know the input's negative 12. They are looking for the output. And then they said, well, here's a cool function where in order to find the output, and I should do better with colors there, um, our output is created using a function of x. A function of x means our output is going to be found by doing a formula that involves x. And what is the formula that involves x? Well, the formula that involves x says take your x, multiply by 3, and subtract 9. So when they say that negative 12 is the input, what is the value of n? What's the value of the output? Well, we should remember that our formula is always take an input, in this case, which is called x, and give us an output, which is usually called f of x or sometimes y. We know the input's negative 12. If I want to find the output, that means we need to replace the input with negative 12. Or this was really just a fancy way to say plug negative 12 into the problem. So if I'm replacing x with negative 12, then this also gets replaced. My input is on the right side. We're going to do some math with that. That's negative 36 minus 9. And I'm trying to find what is the output when I substitute in negative 12. And finishing this off, just following PEMDAS, it looks like we're going to get negative 45. So this tells us when we input negative 12 into a formula, the output is negative 45.